Welcome to another edition of Box Busters. I'm Brian Fleischer. He's Chris Holds, and today is a very special day. Today's the day after the release of 2012 Tops Series One. Hence the crazy look on my face. Yes, for the, last 30 the seconds new straight. season has begun officially with the first release of the year. Very popular. Very yeah. uh, a lot of people going crazy for it. Before we get too far along, though. Yes, sir. A couple of quick things. Go ahead. We're opening two boxes. We've got two we boxes that you can own. One, leave a comment below with an, an email that we can use and tell us what you think of the video. Okay. We're going to pick somebody to win. The second box, the next issue of Beckett Baseball. i got to work this into the package somewhere. So there you go. There we go. Three awesome. cards for you. What do you know about it, Chris? Oh, and you know what else I know? Oh, Chris knows more. we got to save wrappers. We do? Oh, we do. The golden giveaway lasts yeah. only in February. And uh, I believe it's like two boxes where the wrappers get you a redemption pack. Those can be very short printed. Yes, sir. You got one autograph, one yeah. relic per box. 36 or, packs per. Or. Yeah. Oh, yeah, one or. 36 packs, right? Yeah. yeah. 10 cards per. 360 cards. There you go. That's fun sorting. <clears throat> Chris. Our room is clean. I don't want to throw everything on the floor now. Try not to take too much time. There you go. It's a lot of cards. There's a base card. Chipper Jones. I'm sure everyone has seen the base cards by now. Oh, yeah. There are short prints with celebrations. The, the uh, short prints are falling roughly um, two mm -hmm. per case. Uh -huh. The Albert Pujols and Jose Reyes appear to be way more tougher than that, mm -hmm. at least from a couple of dealers' yeah. um, results. So what do you think? I've already kind of given my first reactions. I like the base set. Nice and clean. Shot oh, look at the there Deja 2. <laughs> gold is the theme this year. Oh, sorry, Andrew. There's uh, golden moments inserts and parallels and jerseys and autographs. The autographs are pretty mm. tough, right? They're all 25, yeah, um, 10. Well, everything that's not the golden moments. Okay. The golden moments you're going to find pretty... I, I bet we get mostly golden moments hits here. Yeah. I mean, odds are. So... Um, but yeah, like the classic walk-offs, there's yeah. like patch autos that are out of like 15. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and the actual checklists are very small. Like the Golden Great set here, um, it's there's only like five players, but they each have five cards. Okay. And so the same with the autograph version. So, you know, they're not uh, immensely plentiful. Here's a parallel. <clears throat> a parallel for you. Here's a Golden Moments parallel. These are not numbered. They did away with the gold... Gold number to actual, yeah. whatever 2012, yep. which is fine, I think. I know they've been it doing makes it. the black stand out a lot more. Yeah. So yeah. here's a here's a gold parallel. It's golden moments parallel. Okay. Ah uh, yes. I uh, appropriately I get the first 87 Ooh, tops mini. I like those. Oh. Uh, <sighs> back when cards were 45 cents a pack, came in paper, came with bubble gum, and were a little bit larger. They looked I, like this. I might have several rack boxes still? unopened still. In my garage, that yes, there are in my garage. That's where I I'll take store them. No, I'm not getting rid of them. I want to get rid of them. This right here, my wife might want me to get rid of them. See, these cards will look amazing autographed. I'm just oh, going to yeah. say that now. Cool. They are sweet. Yeah. And they're not expensive. They're they're several per box. It's a sign of a great year for me. Did you, did you get that overreaction on yeah. that? That's not there? an overreaction. That is the best of Dude, all the eighty-seven tops minis. You've never Dude, had that. We, we've pulled one of ones and crazy cards. I've never reacted like that's that. That's awesome. That that's a sign for Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Here, sir. I'm brain dead today, Mr. Here, Mr. Fletcher. Mr. Fletcher here, sir. That's what I meant to say. Anyway. That, may, that ooh, card ooh. may enter my collection. Uh-oh. What is that? Hobby exclusive. The Prime 9 Redemptions. Two per hobby box. Those are in the database. Those oh, are yes. not. The, the short prints are in the database, but those are not in the database. These basically, just like last year, when it comes week four, they will announce the player. You can take this to your hobby shop. Mm -hmm. And this year, if you fill out the form, you'll be entered to win a trip, possibly to the uh, Home Run Derby. So this is not a short printed card, but I think it's a cool picture. It's very Alfred Hitchcockian, <laughs> or Hitchcockish. I'm showing all these '87 minis that I pulled because uh, they're they are awesome. They're the, they're the, those right now. CC that's the insert card set of the year right now. Exactly. I'm telling. <laughs> this you. one's gonna be tough to beat. I'm a fan of those. How <laughs> about a Joe DiMaggio? Uh, what does this say? Uh, sorry, a gold standard card. The 1500 RBI Club entered in 1951. The cool part about these inserts, they're very like. 
detail. It's textured, the backs. I mean, there's just one thing to note. There are 30 rookies in here, and all 30 rookies are true rookie cards. A lot of the guys do have uh, prospect cards in Bowman Chrome or Bowman Sterling or have some minor league cards, but as far as the official tagging in the database, they are all real rookie, quote-unquote real rookies. No RC parentheses, so, so right. far so good on that front. Here's going to be my... The thing I fight this year, fight the addiction, fight the power. You will lose. The Golden Giveaway Code Cards. This you is lose. this year's version. But see, the difference this year is with each code, you do not get a vintage card assured. Yeah. There are more virtual items and other items you may find. This is a very, very painful memory for me. Game six, David Freeze. I don't even want to look at it anymore. I'm going to put it away. <clears throat> This is pretty comical. You know, Adam Dunn was on my fantasy team last year. Mm -hmm. That is comical that you have him on your fantasy team. I needed power. I didn't care about the average. <laughs> well, last year his average was 159 over 122 games. His home runs were 11. 11 homers in what has to be the worst year of his career ever. And yet somehow they found a photo of him tipping his hat <laughs> to the crowd. There's, I mean, I don't know what that, that could have been. Maybe he's still known as a home run hitter, right? They took him out of the lineup, so he was, he, they were thanking him. Yeah. He's flying his own flag. And then uh, Mickey Mantle. I'll just go subtle there. There you go. <laughs> it's a cool Jacoby Ellsbury, Ellsbury photo. I to get some commons in there. Well, Nick so Swisher from Series 2. There you go. Dirt common. Not oh, really. Oh, not really. Pain. Unfortunately not. Ow. This is what I think of. Well, speaking think of pain, here, here's a yeah. Cardinals World Series yeah. highlight card. Yeah. Huh? Uh, huh? Actually, they're not at the World Series yet, but it's got the logo. So. This is a Jeter image that I think of. The Jeter flying through the air. One so, of those signature plays. Yes. Very good looking Jeter card. cards. Cards. Uh, Gatorade celebration cards. In the dugout celebration. Yeah. The entire list and all of the photos of them are on Beckett.com News. The database yep. will have yes, all of them. Yes, they they're all in there. There's um, uh, 20 of them, 25 22 of them. 22. Total. 22. There you go. And actually, we'll have a. Um, We'll have a uh, visual checklist of them in the next baseball issue, too, so you can see them all there. Cool. Lots of packs, lots of packs. Mm -hmm. i got to speed up. Sandy Koufax, that's one to show. Golden greats. I still haven't got all these, in, you know, the names of these insert sets down. Too much gold for me. It's overloading my brain. Dustin Ackley, he was my first mini the other night. I like those cards. Can we just have them make like a mini product now? Yeah, or we just have to wait for Heritage, what, 20... Will Chrome have minis? 24, 24 years from now? Oh, there you go. That'd be fun. Oh, I have a hit. First, I'll show off a Golden David Wright, though. Oh, yeah, I'll make it dance. Is it dancing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right on. All right, my mem card is an Austin Jackson Golden Moments card. Like I said, a lot of gold moments. The, <coughs> the autograph and relic checklists are quite deep for that. This product and those two versions of this set. I'm not even halfway through my box. I'm gonna pick up the pace. Here we go. Home run legends. The entire list of those cards is also on Beckett.com. Although I don't think they announced which number is which, but they did show them all. Yes. So I was trying to figure to build the checklist, but it. I couldn't figure out which yeah. number was which. Yep. Yep, yep. Mickey Mantle. I got that one last night, or the night before. Kind of cool Tom Gorzolani and a code card. You know, for some reason, I like this photograph, even though the player nobody really probably wants. A Placido Polanco card, but it's just a nice photo. And this photo is pretty sweet, too. A Tim Hudson walking off like I'm a slugger card, watching a home run as the dugout celebrates. Okay. Pretty good photos. There's 3,000th hit as a golden moment. I bet the relic on that sells pretty well. I probably have plenty of cards to show, too, unfortunately. Well, we're fortunate. I still have an open vending box sitting in my, my living room uh, you know, floor. <laughs> so, yeah. I... David Price. Trevor Cahill Gold. I actually just stopped to smell my card. Do they smell funny? One of them, something. Maybe something it's the... smells funny. Well, that's probably me, but. How about Michael Dude. Pineda? That's a cool picture it for him. It was skanky. Selling very well. Crazy how it happens, isn't yep. it? Yep. Go to New York, sell like Matt. How about Babe Ruth? We care more about that. Yeah, probably. Oh, that's a cool card. I didn't get this one the other night either. 
How about the Cardinals with the World Series trophy? How about Oof. not? How about <laughs> not? So is this is this the box break where we do our like predictions for who's going to win it this year? The Rangers. Oh, okay. Third Never time's mind. a charm. <laughs> Third time's a charm. I got nothing. Ryan Braun mini. Oh, I'm just getting sick of showing minis. The, the cool part about this is there's just a bunch of inserts, a bunch of cards, great photos this year. Um, probably a simpler lineup than last year. You know, no reprints. Uh -huh. You know, no. Uh, I don't know, just fewer parallels too. It's kind which of is a good thing. Yeah, it's kind I mean, simple, make it a little simpler. You, got, and you get more golds, but there aren't diamonds and golds and Kanye yeah, yeah, diamonds yeah, yeah. and all that kind of crazy stuff. So they stand out a little bit more. How about a classic walk-offs Mickey Mantle? They can kind of get lost when you have too many inserts yep. or no too doubt. many parallels. It all just kind of blurs together, and then you don't really care at some point. One parallel is basically the same. Yes. And we see that kind of, this pack has something, I think. Uh-oh. It's, it's pretty heavy. It's a big one, huh? Yeah, it's heavy. Yep. It's holy. It's got something. Oh, uh, you know what? I bet, I bet you got a coin or a pin relic. Well, it's a good one. one. It's the highest priced uh, veteran. Retired player. Cal Ripken. Yes. There you go. I'm not even the price guy Ooh. guy. Yeah, I was off. Oh, so yeah. Is so is it the only card in the pack? Yes. It's the only card in the wow. pack. It is a retired ring, Those numbered are cool. to 736. Yeah. pretty high. But still cool and heavy. Maybe that's why. Holy cow. I got a, Ooh, yeah. Now, you can definitely, unfortunately, search those, but I don't think there's anything you can really do about that. No. That I card mean, was obviously they heavy. They are hobby only, though. Yeah. So, as long as your hobby shop Parties. is on the up and up, thick. you're okay. Sticky thick. Another Derek Jeter. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I don't know how you'd store it. Gotta get up monsters. Have to get a snap case. Monsters. Oh. Ah! The pain. Second only to the Ian Kinsler is Josh, Josh Hamilton. Hamilton. Uh -huh. And I'm saying tops update, maybe we should have a U Darvish Oof. in that mini parallel. Yeah, it's series two, maybe if you're lucky. Yeah. Or maybe he'll be one of the cards in the golden giveaway. It could happen. Maybe. Happened with Strasburg what, two years ago. Who's that? Who cares about him anymore? It's all you now. He's going to be on my fantasy team. Because you have the all prospects team. He said it's all you. I thought he was talking about me. <sighs> huh? Consistent sorry, collation. One and four. There you go. One and four. And there's some Matt Moore rookie card. We won't mention him against the Rangers. <clears throat> well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Rangers got the, got the last lap. Last lap. Yeah. Jeez. How about, how about a Matt Moore rookie card? Back to back. So what do you think is that of that being your relic in the box? Oh, is that my relic? Yeah, manufactured. Uh, I don't Good know controversial bit yet. here. So, so then, a Babe Ruth I'm, pretty expensive. The Ripken, that Ripken probably will outsell your Austin Jackson. So if, if it was yep. if I had a choice between these two boxes, and I like that card because it's different as opposed See? to just a regular old. And that's precisely why they're making them. Yeah, because it's something it's different. Better, it's something different that probably will upsell. So now, if it was an Austin card. Jackson ring versus an Austin Jackson jersey, give me the jersey. But <laughs> it sounds like a Cal Ripken or another cool. Ooh, veteran. good box, loaded box. Is it not really? Is it? But this is nice. A David Freese black parallel out of sixty-one. The World Series MVP, the end of last year. Correct. And the first uh, good card in the first box of this year. It's crisp, it's clean, it's actually a little, the base card design is better than I thought it was going to be because the the mocks just didn't look as, as good as the yeah. actual cards do. I like it's more about the, the grouping of what you get. Yeah, I'm a fan of the lack of parallels. Which Fewer parallels, like. always good. Love the 87 Tops minis, right? Like I said, insert card set of the year so far. Yeah, it's going to be tough to beat. I know. It's going to be damn serious. And, and actually, what's funny is we're doing the awards issue of Beckett Baseball right now, which is the best of last year. So if you haven't been there yet, scroll down, down there. Way to tie it in. Do the voting. But way to, but speaking of down there, leave a comment so you can win a box. And check out the next issue with those awards in it. To win, win a box, box there, too. So, so that's all I got. Overall, it's a fun break. It's a great start to 2012. Hopefully, it's a sign of good things to come for this year. So until next time, I'm Brian. He's Chris, and we'll see you.